welcome to another Verisys video. My name is Rob Snowart, and today I'm going to talk to you about plug and play and talk about Verisys and plug and play. So uh, I want to explain that a little bit on why Verisys is different. What what is it? What is it about Verisys that uh, brings in this plug and play that we don't traditionally have? So I'm going to start off by this a couple of PowerPoints, and then I'll actually demonstrate it. So uh, Verisys, it's not your typical BAS system. Your typical BAS system may have some application data servers, so it's uh, storing historical trends off to a server somewhere, and that server can be accessed through browsers or other interfaces um, on that site, or you may directly go to the engines if you didn't have the server to uh, um, get your data, etc. So in the BACnet world, there are uh, devices called supervisory devices, supervisory controllers. Supervisory controller essentially keeps track all the data on the bus and then or, um, can organize it so that way you can view it. So in this case, I'm showing just a layout of Metasys. So I have a lot of application-specific controllers down here or uh, a lot of BACnet application specific controllers um, that can talk, um, you know, these engines can talk multiple protocols. Um, but then all this data comes up through these engines, and then these engines will talk to servers to store off the historical data. So it's a pretty complex system. For those of you who are familiar with setting up supervisory devices, know that in order to set this device up, you would have to take a field controller here, and let's say you want just the zone temperature that's out in space on one of these devices. You would need to individually say, hey, map that zone temperature that's at this particular address for the controller, as well as here's the ID of that particular point. Map that in. Then you have to say, hey, I want to alarm that point, or I want to trend that point. Um, or even if it's a scheduling object, I have to schedule that point. So there's a lot of work to organize all these objects in the supervisory controller. So with Verisys, it's not your typical BAS because the Smart Building Hub is essentially a Wi-Fi interface to the trunk. So in it's talking to what we call smart equipment. So I've taken the smart equipment logo and highlighted it. We have today five smart equipment devices, and I show them on this trunk um, that are defined. So our zone coordinator is a smart uh, equipment device. We also have a rooftop unit uh, smart equipment device. Our uh, coming soon will be an A524. That's a smart equipment device. Um, we have a TEC 3000, which is a thermostat for uh, um, single stage units and then we have our multi stage or multi uh zone unit um so we have our single zone and our multi zone unit those are third party controllers so if we don't have a york unit or or upg smart equipment unit i should say it doesn't depend on the brand um then we use these two controllers to uh make up for that so What's unique about smart equipment controllers is it's got uh, embedded smart equipment technology, and I'll go over that here in a bit. So uh, um, we embed things in, in there. So the way I like to talk about this is I'll take one of our devices. You're used to, uh, or most people are used to, like our Metasys devices, where you use a tool to program it. You send in an application layer. And that application layer it essentially holds the program. It'll tell you what all the IDs are, the points, um, and whatever the logic is of that controller. So our uh, TEC 3000, in this case, has that application layer. But in addition to that application layer, we have a supervisory layer. So unlike your traditional system that wouldn't have a supervisory layer, we hold a view definition. We hold trends, we hold schedules, we hold alarms, translations, units, all on another layer. 
So what does that layer then do for us? So when we connect up to our smart building hub, we essentially take and grab that supervisory layer and bring it forward. So we don't have to define all that. It's already defined. Okay, so let me let let me let's visualize that. So I'm going to quickly uh, switch over to my Verisys site, my demo panel, and so I'm already logged in on my demo panel, and I have that TEC 3000 set at address four. When I clicked in right there, this view definition came up. That view definition came from the controller. Notice you're seeing trends. So there are trends right now going on in that device. So those trends are held in the device. In fact, with you can even see it on the screen if you want. There are schedules. So whatever the schedule may be in that controller, it's uh, available. So all of the view definition, so knowing how it sets up. So here, here's the equipment setup to change how that, that could work. Um, if I want to be able to switch the uh, units or I want to switch the language, I have the ability to switch all that. Why? Because it's all within the controller and all I have to do is just bring it in or all I have to do is just tell it what I want. So that's what smart equipment controllers can do for us or what it does for us with Verisys. Best way I can describe how it is different than a building automation system. Remember me telling you you had to define all those objects at a particular address? Well, let's just change the address. I'm going to switch it from four to five. So if I go back to my device list, I just told it to go from four and now it's going over here to five. So you can see that five popped up and this will go away. That's going to go offline. So I can click back in here and notice when I go to my trends, that's the same trend I just showed you on address four. All of this definition is the same. In fact, every time you take this model of TEC and hook it to the trunk, you're going to see the same parameters, same location. Everything's the same. That's what smart equipment is doing for us. So hopefully you understand a little more about plug and play and you got to see a true demonstration of that. Hopefully the light starts to turn on on how Verisys is different. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you uh, view a few more. Thank you.